so appreciative of that. Thank you. And now I want to introduce my boyfriend, Roger Ebert. Some of you know the history of Ebert Fest. It started as Cyberfest in the year 2001 for the birthday of HAL 9000. And the university invited Roger to come back the next year. I think for Cyberfest, you had a, a satellite link up to Sir Arthur Clarke in Sri Lanka. And, and, oh. <laughs> and, how did you do the Hell 9000 part, the, the voice and so forth? Was it clipped or? No, um, the one you're at here, the way here from. Uh, no, 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 not when we showed the movie, but the year of Cyberfest. Yeah, we had Arthur C. Clarke via, via satellite. He was wearing his uh, NASA Gold Vermeil <laughs> space suit. And it was, it was one of the first times that, uh, that uh, the internet has been used to bring someone uh, transcontinental. Wow, and it happened right here in Champaign-Urbana at Ebert Fest. And in the early years, this town is actually, um, you, you were ahead of the, the curve on a lot of things. Roger said, Roger, what year was it? In 1960, oh, yes, okay. <laughs> Let me just tell you this, the rest of the story quickly. I, I won't go on and on and on. The very next year, they invited Roger to come back to show movies and said, why don't we try to make a film fest of this? And Roger said, yes, but I have one condition. We can't show a new film. I can't, it's a conflict for me to go to the studios asking for films that I haven't seen and I will have to review later. So why don't I go and show films that are small gems or films that should have been seen by larger audiences, that deserve to be seen by larger audiences, and maybe when they first came out, they were not. So that's how he came up with the Overlooked Films, and, and initially it was called uh, the Overlooked Film Festival. And then, after a few years, some of the directors said, I love your film festival, but I don't like the idea of my film being thought of as overlooked in the sense that maybe it will be overlooked. Not that it has been overlooked. You know, the, maybe just the, the, the name, some of the directors were a little kind of iffy about. Although I still like it because it, the, the connotation is something that was overlooked, but now Roger, it's, it's now just called Ebert Fest. It still has a, a formal name, but um, he doesn't have to he just shows whatever he thinks deserves to be seen. So it could be a genre. Yes. So it's black and white films, 70 millimeter films, silent films, things that you don't see at the uh, your ordinary multiplex. Now, this year, I have to tell you, he's always doing something different. And this year, you know, he, he, his internet presence has been very, very, very solid. And in his journal, he started attracting an international following. And when, as it came time for Eberfest, some of the international correspondents, he started a, a section on his journal called My Far Flung Correspondence. And we had people who were writing in from the Philippines, people from Mexico, people from Turkey, from South Korea, from Brazil, from India, from Egypt, from Turkey, um, from France, from England. And this year, you're going to get to see some of the far-flung correspondents because they're right here in Champaign-Urbana. Come on up, some of you, and let's introduce you. No, 
Now, some of them were not able to come. Okay, just in your name. Ger I'm Gerardo Valero. Gerardo Valero. Valero. Ger Gerardo Valero. Yo hablo español también. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Michael Mirasol. Michael Mirasol is from the Philippines. Oh, Song Yong Cho. Song Yong Cho is from South Korea. And who else is here? So, you know, some of them are, have, haven't come in yet, but they'll be here during the week if, they're a, if their planes are able to come. We had some people coming in from Sweden who may not be able to make it because there's too much ash over their uh, airway. Okay, Roger, anything else you want us to do? Roger says he, you have his heartfelt thanks for volunteering and um, you know, he also likes for people to sing. If anyone wants to sing or do anything, sing or dance tonight, let's do that. Because he, he likes joy. And as you, if you read his Esquire article, he said, we, our, our, our job is to contribute joy to the world. Let's bring joy to Ebert Fest. Thank you. Thank you. 